I'm proud to say that I'm starting over at 30 years old. I'm finally transitioning from academia to entrepreneurship, from being a PhD graduate in engineering science to a full-time content creator in self-development. It took a lot of self-awareness and self-confidence to hit the reset button in my life. As scary as it was, that was exactly what I needed to bring a renewed sense of purpose and meaning back into my life. In this first video of the series, I'll share the seven most important lessons that I learned in the past 30 years that allowed me to create success in all areas of my life. I hope these lessons will help you on your journey. Let's start with a little background. When I was 13 years old, I watched this movie called 13 Going 30. The protagonist of that movie, who was also 13 years old, one day wakes up in the life of her 30-year-old self. And I vividly remember that I kept wondering what my life would look Look like at 30. And let me tell you, my 13-year-old self would be absolutely amazed at where we arrived by 30. My dream at that age was to become an engineer because my cousin was doing chemical engineering in college and I thought that was the coolest thing in the world. I also had this timeline for my life that I wanted to get married by the age of 25 and maybe have two or three kids by the age of 28. 29, but those were my dreams at the age of 13 because that was all I knew about adult life at that point in time. I don't know about you, but 13 year old Mari would be both disappointed and absolutely shocked to find out what 30 year old Mari is up to. She would be totally amazed to learn that 30 year old Mari is fluent in three languages, lived in three countries, did a PhD in engineering science in Ireland, visited nearly 40 countries, and is now living the digital nomad lifestyle while leading an online community with inspiring people from all over the world. But you may be wondering how did that happen? So in this video I'm going to share the seven most important lessons that I learned over the past 30 years that allowed me to excel my 13-year-old self-expectations while also disappointing her in many ways. So without further ado, let's dive in. Lesson number one is to stay curious about life and allow your dreams to evolve. And this lesson was the foundation to help me completely change my life, because if I were to get too attached to the dream that my 13-year-old self had, I wouldn't have lived everything I did. Being curious to me means seeking knowledge, and that is not only knowledge as in what's in the books, but most importantly, learning about ourselves, learning about other people and the world. And what I mean here is that you need to get to know yourself, getting to know your values, the things that are important to you that you want in your life, and the things that are not important to you that you actually don't want in your life, and also getting to know your talents, the things that you're good at, and maybe the things that you need to get better at. And also getting to know your preferences, what you like doing and what you don't really like doing. And this is gonna allow you to become more self-aware. But don't be too attached to this, because life is about change, it's about transformation, about evolving. And as you experience more of life, you will not only get to know yourself better, but you also connect with other people, get to know them. And also you're going to experience more the world, what it has to offer to you. As you learn from these experiences, you need to allow your dreams to evolve. And as your dreams change, you will also need to change. You will need to change your mindset, your actions, your habits. So you really need to allow yourself to become the person who has achieved the dreams that you have. Don't be a prisoner of the life your past self envisioned for you. And that's much easier said than done, because change isn't easy, but it is worth it. So the next lesson is really important here. Lesson number two is to always do your best and be patient with yourself. And I fully stand by this because doing my best in everything was what allowed me to achieve what I thought was impossible for me. So in everything that I do, I always strive for excellence. 
not perfection, but excellence. I always aim to improve my skills, to look for more efficient ways of doing something. This way I can learn new things in the process. And being patient with myself allows me to stay consistent, because if I have too high of expectations over my skill level, I probably will feel frustrated when I'm starting, and feeling frustrated over and over again, eventually I'm going to give up. So instead of feeling frustrated for not achieving that level of perfection, I choose to feel proud of myself for how far I've come. Having this approach of always doing your best will bring so much more joy and meaning to your life. And being patient with yourself is about recognizing that your best is going to vary from day to day. On days you only have 40%, if you give 40%, you gave your own. All. So you should feel very proud of yourself for doing your best on that day as well. Lesson number three is to believe in yourself and trust the universe. This is about believing in myself, doing my best every single day, and believing that the universe is going to provide me with everything that I need to succeed. There is this one quote that I love, it says, Things turn out best for the people that make the best of the way things turn out. And because I'm doing my best every single day, I know that things will turn out the best in the future for me. I know that these three lessons may sound very woo-woo kind of thing. However, I have seen that happen over and over again in my life. I'll give you one example. So when I was 21, I was going about my life doing my electrical engineering degree, I was also on a long-term relationship, so I was living up to my 13-year-old self dream. By staying curious about my life, I came across this scholarship to do an exchange in Ireland. I was absolutely blown away by that opportunity, there was something in it that called me. But if I were to stay too attached to the dream that my 13-year-old self had of graduating as an engineer and getting married by the age of 25, I definitely wouldn't have applied. Instead, I allowed my dreams to evolve. I said to myself, I will apply for this scholarship. Because studying abroad for one year with everything paid for just sounded unreal. And that's what I did. However, my biggest concern at the time was my English, because I needed to get a certain score in one of the English tests that I knew for sure was nearly impossible for me. So instead of being the first person to say no to myself, I did my best to, to improve my English over the next six months. I enrolled in an English course with a small group of people and really did my best at every single class. I'd go home and study over and over and over again. Learning English was a huge challenge for me. I really had to be very patient with myself, honor the place where I was and believe that I could improve if I stayed consistent and gave my best. So I tried my best to believe in myself because I was doing my best and trust that the universe somehow would help me and I would achieve my goal. And guess what? That's exactly what happened. I got the marks that I needed and off I went to Ireland to study electrical engineering in an amazing university with everything paid for. And this is not the only example I have. However, to keep this video short, let's move on to the next lesson. And it's actually such a nice day out, so let's go out and enjoy this beautiful weather as I share my next four lessons with you. So I just came to the park with the girls to enjoy the day. You may see them walking in the background, but I thought I'd share lesson number four here. Lesson number four is journey over destination. And this is a perfect example because in the case of this video, if I were to optimize to have this video done, which is the destination, I would have stayed at home and continued the video there because that was a much more efficient way to get it done. 
However, here I'm optimizing for enjoying the journey. So I came outside, I took the girls with me, and now we're at the park enjoying this beautiful day while I finish recording this video for you. So that means I enjoy more of the journey as I get to the destination. Whenever I'm too focused on getting something done, I reflect on this. How can I make the journey more fun, more enjoyable, and really appreciate every step along the way. I feel like a lot of people tend to believe that there is this golden path at the destination of getting the video done, of getting to the 1000 subscribers, to the 1 million subscribers, but there isn't. It's all about the journey because if you feel miserable every step along the way to get to your destination, it won't feel good and fulfilling. But if you do enjoy yourself, you enjoy the journey and you bring people along with you, that's gonna feel so much more meaningful. Lesson number five is to choose your friends well. And that's because we can only connect with so many people over our lives. And why would we direct our energy to connection with negative people while we could be connecting with positive people and creating more positivity in our lives? The people around us have a huge impact on how we see our lives, what we expect of our lives, and also what we do with our lives. In terms of friendship, what I learned over the past 30 years is that, as a rule of thumb, it is better to stay away from gossip, drama, hate, and judgment because that is just really negative energy. Especially in my teenage years, I always wanted to know the gossip and talk about other people, but like, Nowadays, I have no interest, you know? Instead, it is much better to stay close with people who are kind, loving, curious, and they're always up to some adventure. Lesson number six is your health is your wealth. When you're in your early 20s, if you're eating a little bit too much junk food and not exercising, that's probably not gonna show. You most likely won't even see a difference in your appearance, and the more you do those negative habits, the more the negative impacts will accumulate and it is going to become even more difficult for you to reverse it. You may see people around me who developed bad habits in their 20s and they're struggling now with their health in their early 30s. So imagine what's gonna happen when they're 40, 50, and 60. It was in my 20s that I developed an appreciation for an active and healthy lifestyle. I learned how to stay consistent with the gym, and then I was very curious about yoga and cycling. And now in my 30s, I actually feel much healthier than I was in my early 20s. Menina, você tá comendo terra. So I'm here to tell you that it may not be easy to develop an appreciation for this active, healthy lifestyle. However, it is going to happen if you put your energy into it. It's not easy, but it's worth it. Lesson number seven is you are the creator of your life. One thing that I figured is that nobody is gonna come and save me and create the life that I want. As we discussed, people do have an influence in our lives. However, they don't dictate our results. Especially in my early 20s, I had the hope that somebody was gonna come into my life and fix everything. But nobody is gonna come and save you. You need to do the work yourself. However, you can have people come and help you, support you in getting to your goals. But you are the one who has to set the goals in the first place and learn how to get there your way. So this is about taking responsibility for your life and stop blaming on other people for your lack of results. So then you can start making decisions that are aligned with where you want to go. As a very practical example here, I was interested in starting running and a part of me thought how cool would it be to have a friend help me develop this habit of running, right? But if I were to sit there and wait until somebody appeared out of nowhere to be my friend and take me for a run, that wouldn't happen. So what happened was I took responsibility and I decided that I would give run a go. And some of my friends were inspired by me and also started running as well. And I also made friends through running. In summer, 
summary, you are the creator of your life. So if you want to create something different, you need to start making different decisions, developing different habits and making that happen in your life. Thanks for watching until the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to learn more about how to develop positive habits in your 20s, I suggest that you watch this video next. I hope to see you there. Bye!